Okay, it is uh, 5.30 and time to call the meeting to order. Please join us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We have had a chance to take a look at the minutes of the November 25th meeting. Do anybody have any questions or comments about the minutes? If none, is there a motion to approve the minutes as presented? So moved. Second. Mr. Meters, Yeah. Mr. Gabbard? Yay. Mr. Wade? Yay. And we have the fiscal officers report. Um, I don't have anything uh, uh, out of the ordinary to uh, present to you other than the fact that we will be starting here and close out. And uh, we were fortunate that the last payroll ends on the 18th, which means I get two weeks before the first of the year to close out payroll and start up a new one. Okay. Uh, anybody have any questions for Linda? Okay. The next item is the, are the current bills, and we have had a chance to take a look at these. Anybody have any questions about the current bills? Is there a motion to pay the bills? So moved. Second. Mr. Gavin? Yay. Mr. Meters Paul? Yay. Mr. Wade? Yay. And we have resolution, draft resolution 4784, resolution amending permanent appropriation to the supplemental appropriation. Just we, anything particular? Other than what's well, there's system? the lighting assessment fund. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't study why, but we're going over what we had last year, I'm assuming, because if we have some new districts and yeah. I appropriated what we had last year. And the money's there. Just, when I saw that. Yeah. And then the, the one for the zoning, we're moving money to professional and technical to pay our 15% of the, what what our liability insurance paid on the gray matter, gray matter. the gray <laughs> case. <laughs> so we just had to move the money around to do that out of the zoning fund. Because of a lack of gray matter. Okay, anybody have any questions about 4784? Is there a motion to approve? So moved. Second. Mr. Munerspaw? Yay. Mr. Gatter? Yay. Mr. Wade? Yay. And then we have 4785, 2016 Clear Creek Township Temporary Appropriations. We did uh, get these from Jack, I had a chance to take a look at them. Anybody have any particular questions or anything that would like to interject, comments? I do not. I, everything looked in line with me. Okay. Is there a motion to approve 4785? So moved. Second. Mr. Gabbard? Yay. Mr. Mearspaw? Yay. Mr. Wade? Yay. Anything else under fiscal business? Yes, sir. Okay. We have an executive session schedule. Uh, do you want to do this now or in this order? Or do you want to wait until then? You could take care of the other stuff and do this when you're done with all the other business. There's because uh, what we're going to do in there is going to come out. It's going to be posted anyway, so they can either wait around and read it or they can read it later. Okay, let's let's go on and go to unfinished business. Is that all right, you guys? Will do that? Okay. Absolutely. Unfinished business. Anything? Okay, new business administration resolution 4787, uh, resolution approving pay rates for non. No, we can't do that either. You postpone that. We'll, we'll postpone 4787 yeah. also. Mm -hmm. But we can, and since we're just postponing, we don't think we can remember it. Okay. And then if we move on to police district, chief, we have 4788, a resolution accepting a donation from Marathon Boy. Uh, Marathon has in the past donated money to the police department, but again, doing that, the life of me, I can't remember what the amount was. You had So we asked the board to allow us to accept that and thank them for uh, once again donating the police department. This is our motion to accept this donation. Second. Second. Mr. Mearspaw? Yeah. Mr. Gabbard? Yeah. Mr. Yeah. And we have a step increase for Ryan Roach uh, to probation, probation to step three. Officer Roach was promoted to full time six months ago. They promoted from part time to full time. They only have to, they've already been through a one year probation as a, pro, as a part timer. Uh, that's reduced to six months under that circumstance. Uh, Ryan also.
also has uh, a bachelor's degree that he recently obtained, and that allows him to come out of the step three wage. So his wage would go to 2731 on uh, December 22nd. I'd like to remove him from probation, and he's doing a good job. So. Okay, so a motion to remove Ryan Roach from probation and uh, grant the, uh, the, the uh, appropriate step pay <coughs> increase. So moved. Second. Mr. Gabbard? Yay. Mr. Mears Paul? Yay. Mr. Wade? Yay. And we have a purchase recommendation for the crime reporting software. It's the uh, software agent to public engines. That's the, uh, uh, we have that on our website that public can go on about uh, any crime that occurs. It, it, uh, it gives a general area, it doesn't give the exact address. On our side, it allows us to track crime, uh, do uh, various charts with it and so forth. And we use that as we look at things throughout the year and then we have the budget to, uh, we start with the budget some issues and uh, we our core crimes in it. So I'd ask that we again to do that. Okay. Is there a motion to renew this annual fee for public engines? So moved. Second. Mr. Mears Paul? Yay. Mr. Gavin? Yay. Mr. Wade? Yay. Excuse me, is that um, an increase at all? I was like, I, I think it's, it's about the same. Is it? Okay, yeah. no increase. It used okay. to be split into two. Uh, uh, there was a there was public side and then the private, but the police side. Right. I think we just got a bill this year for the whole amount, and I think it was about the same. Typically, we say whether it was an increase or not. Typically, it's yeah. not an increase, yeah, and the boys uh, looks good in the yeah, hands. It's there was, no increase. There was, okay. it wasn't much. I don't think it was, okay. if I recall, okay. it's about the same amount. Thank you. Okay, and we have the police district's uh, monthly report. Anything particular you want to point out in your piece? I don't know if you have any questions that you want to talk about. Okay, anybody have any questions for you? Yeah, we might as well. That way we don't wonder about it for too long. I uh, just want to throw something out to the board. Uh, Mr. Cameron and I have gotten a flurry of noise complaints. Uh, people want to do certain things about noises. Uh, currently, the police department can only operate under the Howard Wise Code unless we have a resolution addressing something. And we look at noise, we look at the disorderly conduct charge, and that has to be unreasonable. Uh, and most of the noises that people talk about, uh, I doubt very much we could classify as unreasonable. So we're getting issues where somebody builds a house, uh, they move into it, and there's 10 more houses being built, and they're mad because uh, at 6 o'clock in the morning on a Sunday, uh, they're building the next two houses beside of them. And uh, we've had questions about wanting to limit time. Uh, we had some issues with uh, garbage pickup. Uh, <laughs> that, that was my favorite. I was in the uh, office that day. Uh, and those are not unreasonable for that business. Uh, to them, it's unreasonable at the time. However, if, if you're a day shift person, it might be. If you're a midnight guy, you're sleeping when they want the guy to come pick it up. And then inevitably, every summer, we get into the issue of combines and farm equipment and things like that. So I don't know if the board ever wants they to. Love living in the world. If uh, you want to address any time frames on noise, or if you'd like to look, we, we talked to them and explained to them in the past the board has not done that, but we've had a, a different makeup, but I'd readdress it. And talked about it, so just wanted to put it out for discussion. There was any desire to give us an ability to uh, work with a different resolution relative to the noise. There's right. somebody behind our house that keeps shooting <coughs> a cannon off. I mean, we know guns. This is a cannon that's somebody shooting off. That's Steve. We've, we've had a few. I've gotten calls. The chief will get calls. And generally what I got back from the chief's, you know, perspective and, and what the board's direction has been is, no, we don't want to go there with it. You know, we don't want to impact the farming side of things because guys do 24-hour operations. I had asked Brian <clears throat> about some anything in the county, and, and he sent me one that seemed to accept some of those things that might create consternation with putting a noise ordinance or resolution in place. Uh, that's why we thought we'd just bring the discussion to you if there's something that meets those needs is that amenable or are we just sticking with the higher revised code that's fine I just you know I've had more complaints on anything else is the siren check on Wednesday once a month at 12 noon yeah Hopefully over the years that's the worst complaint yeah. I've had. so that's a good thing come on <laughs> but I personally um, I don't I don't think that I would like to get into that I speak for yourself and for yourself you know there's the things that you have just mentioned mostly are temporary. They're not going to go on for the rest of their lives if those people knew that they live there. And as they move in, they have to know that something's going to happen in that vacant property across the street. 
They just have to. But, you know, yeah, we've been lucky at mediating most of them in the past. You know, it's funny people. I mean, I didn't know when I worked for the Enquirer, covered a meeting for the county. People, and you would know the name if I told you, this guy moved into a cul-de-sac that bordered the Warren County Airport because they liked watching the planes go in and out. He actually came to the commissioners and said that they were making too much noise on the planes. And one of them to be able to stop when planes could come and go. And he moved into that neighborhood to watch the planes. There you go. I, I, my grandfather used to say there are certain sounds and smells with coming, come, that come with living out here. And that's the way it is. It, those are the freedoms of the differences of why we're not a city. I agree. Uh, I, I will say that I want to say all the calls I've gotten, maybe there's a handful, they all reference, you know, they're, they have a noise ordinance, so they're coming from somewhere where they had mm -hmm. that regulation in the municipality, and I'm used to those. And you know, I, I explained to them we follow RC and it's it's more <coughs> disturbing the peace application and you know I'll I'll have the chief talk to you so I don't have to tell you no but he'll tell you no. So that's what I'm feeling from them is they're they're coming from somewhere else that, that they had that at their disposal to, to count on. So you know I know that um, when we were working on <coughs> the program coming out here, one of the things that we did take into consideration, I don't know how we ever ended up with it, but I'm pretty sure we were going to uh, have deliveries that were before and after, or after in the morning and before 11 o'clock at night, so the big trucks that were coming in behind, uh, you know, that's a new commerce thing that's coming in afterwards, but, uh, and, and certainly in an area that is, that predictably could have still been Residential, maybe it could change, maybe it could, but uh, that's the only thing I can see is changing. And, and I don't know if we tried to uh, <coughs> limit the time when farmers could fire up their engines and go agriculture in the state of Ohio. You're going to tell them when they could work. I don't no, know. We might try that, but I don't think we're going to win. We're not going to get anywhere with that or run. Right? Come I mean, on. Uh, farming is uh, kind of king in Ohio, as well as it should be. I, I don't want to do anything with it. We'll continue to be <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Uh, again, any what well, we talked about the monthly report, nobody questions for that. Anything else from fire district or police district? No, sir. Before we move to the fire district, we have a purchase rec recommendation for blue card incident commander recertification. This is our annual recertification for all of our officers, rank lieutenant and above, or someone that acts in that position. We currently have to be certified into the commanders and two instructors. So this is just our annual recert. Okay. Is there a motion to approve this expenditure for recertification? So moved. Second. Mr. Gabber? Yeah. Mr. Commander's Paul? Yeah. Mr. White? Yeah. And we do have the uh, fire department monthly report. And we I have any uh, questions about the <coughs> report or anything Steve you'd like to point out in particular? Any questions? Mm -hmm. Anything else from the fire Okay. And moving on to the zoning department, we have a reimbursement request from the Commission and Board of Zoning Appeals Council. There are annual requests. And we have a matrix showing the members and the times that they were able to make to me. Anybody have any questions about this request? Uh, here again is our motion to uh, make this payment and reimbursement to the Zoning Commission. So moved. Second. And Board of Zoning Appeals. Pardon. Mr. Mearsmaw? Yay. Mr. Gavin? Yay. Mr. Wade? Yay. Okay. And we have a uh, the zoning, we have a recommendation purchase, Clear Creek 15% of the legal, which we talked about briefly. Yeah, I mean, this is the result of the most recent case with the Grays and Pinnacle Self Storage, on which they took the case up to 12th District. 12th District agreed with us, and they did not take it to the Supreme Court. So, all these times have um, exhausted. So, we're hopeful that this is officially open. This property's changed hands, and they met all their timeline. So, we'll okay. see. So, yes, um, just want to pay the. Yeah. And per Perso is that the arm of the liability insurance that we work through, so that's 
we owe fifteen percent of what they build through on the legal side. And, and just an added portion of that, because we didn't have money. If you recall, in the supplemental reallocation, we moved money from one fund to another in order to pay this bill. As a result, we need to do a then and now certification that we had the money at the time we incurred the cost, and we still have that money. Mr. Um, Chico, can we do that in one fell swoop, or do we need to have two motions? I mean, you would want. So if you could, on the tack on to the end of that motion and approve a then and now uh, certification for that money. Okay. Good idea. Is there a motion to approve the uh, payment uh, of our 15% on the Gray case and to uh, initiate a then and now uh, resolution to be able to make a payment? So moved. Second. Mr. Gabbert? Yay. Mr. Meterspaw? Yay. Mr. Wade? Yay. And do we have <coughs> an offer of appointment for Clear Creek Township Board of Zoning Appeals, Damon Morris, as an alternate? Yes, yeah, so he was originally going to be here this evening, but there's some issues with making sure that his employer does not have issue and conflict with this being an appointment oh. where he'd be. So they had a couple more hoops to jump through than normal folk. <coughs> um, so we're asking to go ahead and do an appointment. What does, what does he do? He works for the Attorney General. Okay. That's the best way to explain no. it. Because there he's was the, I remember. He's the regional representative for my Dwight. So there's a little bit of yeah. bureaucracy that exists up there. Well, so would you like us to prove this subject to what he finds out? Well, we yeah, that's why I just wanted to bring it. It was something that we were going to do the full activity tonight. just wanted to still be up there so we can have a discussion. If he still is interested. We just have a delay. If you want to wait until the yeah. January 11th and do it all as one fell swoop then, let's do that. that's fine. Just one against you. Okay, okay, let's do that. Cool. Anything else from the zoning department? I just want to give you an update on the mailbox issue, which gave some information last uh, meeting. The best understanding from Washington Township Postal Manager, because they're not the postmaster for some reason. I don't understand that. But uh, they're going to impose centralized mailboxes on every plat section that comes in from this point forward. So they're blessing everything that exists currently in Villages of Whiting Creek as is. It had a street address assigned to it. It's blessed, quote unquote. All new sections have to come through with the new centralized mailbox. So last Monday, two new sections came through. We're still trying to figure out where they want the mailboxes, how to do everything. But that is only Washington Township. We're not getting that from Lebanon. We're not getting that from Waynesville. We're not getting that from Spring Grove at this point in time. But Washington Township is trying to reduce the number of hours it takes to deliver the mail. Okay. And but so really, they're the ones that people have contacted on they're allowing those to stay as is and only doing this moving forward correct which is pretty good uh, win for you nice work. yeah the, the neighbors are quite happy that okay. they're able to keep things and go forward so that was a good relationship that we had with um, villages of Winding Creek holding which is Oaks and Durso helping us out through some things so it was really well, that's good, good for you good for them for that one because I know that didn't become easy no and it's I think ultimately what we had working in our favors. We had a temporary postal office manager there. We needed to resolve something by the time he left. Now, he gave this all to us orally. That was two Fridays ago when we were supposed to receive the paperwork in the mail. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say, we, got yeah, we still haven't Friday. received that, but I kept the voicemail <laughs> recording oh, nice. so that we have something and the like. But yeah, paperwork to follow since apparently that's what we're going to do. So just FYI, things are more positive than where they can be. Okay. Yeah, no, that's great. And I, I, just to follow up, I had gone to the Home Builders Association of Dayton for the Warren County section, and they were very happy and complimentary of Jeff's efforts in regard to the mailbox issue. Yep. So, yeah, he's done a good job. Well, that. Done. Good show. Great. Um, monthly report. Anybody about that? Busy. Huh? We're doing all right. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. huge, huge increase percentage, double, fit up 50%. Depending on yeah, we're, what we're looking at, where we're going. Yeah. Okay. Road department. It just give you an update on the, the Brian system that we have. Mm -hmm. We made some modifications to it. We added some new sections to it. We, we wanted to put in a few more. Uh, screens we can filter out some of the 
when we had the Morton salt, it's a lot finer salt. It tends to work a little bit better. That's why for a while we were uh, lending it out to Turtle Creek Township for their system. But now that we've switched, it's not quite as fine. So we went in and added a few uh, sections. With, we have three different screens in it now to pick out some of the, you know, the, the larger uh, grit and rock and whatever leaves, you know, may get mixed in with that. But uh, it's working out well. Um, we've got it pretty much down to uh, a science now, so uh, we're good to go. And I don't want to say we're ready because I really don't want the snow to come, but uh, when it comes, we'll be ready. And uh, so I just want to give you a quick, quick update on that to let you know that we do have that going. And I did receive a call, and they're optimistic we should get that backhoe by the end of the first week of January. But they did throw in some holiday stuff in there; it could delay it. So I, would, I don't know how. In know, January, probably that would be that would be my it's my guess. Quick. It's quick, yeah. They they had some on the lot, but the. Uh, the we wanted the thumb, we got the thumb attachment for removing some of the large trees that we get that fall across the road and all that in the ditches. It's a lot easier with the thumb attachment, so we have to have that piece welded on. And so that's a little bit of the delay for it. So. Okay. Okay. Anybody have any questions for Scott? Okay. Uh, staff reports? Anything? Nothing. Well, just a reminder that Friday is a Christmas lunch, 1130. 1130. How long is it? 1130 to... One ish, you know, people are starting to. Well, they come and go, you know, okay. but one o'clock okay. for the most part. Um, <clears throat> and then I'll just quickly on the insurance. We started December 1 with United, and for this month we do the PPO plan. And then January 1 we start with the high deductible. I've got another form that everybody needs to mark their elections on and sign, so they have that. If you, well, Jason's the only one who will have the HSA to start with, but you can designate an amount additional. Uh, the other three will have the, an HRA to support that deductible commitment. And then, Linda, you can start, I guess, April 1st into the HSA. And it would be a prorated amount. And you know, we worked through some bumps and, you know, the timing wasn't, it was a little expedited, but everybody's in and got a temporary card, so. So since I don't have the HSA, then all that paperwork that I received that they asked me to fill out for the bank, do I have to go ahead and do that? Thank you very much. No. <laughs> I already got my government card. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. Yeah, I got my card on I Saturday. I did I got my card. Okay. Yeah, yeah well. Something. Maybe we did too. I, I've been out of, out of town the last couple of days, so. But anyway, I tell that because you left a razor. <laughs> I did. I did. Thank you for noticing. <laughs> Sense of theme. Yeah, being ganged up on. I'm just curious, Jack. Uh, you know, from what I hear from the third, is nothing but positive about the employees. The um, the meetings that were last week did they go pretty well? I, I, I haven't talked to you about this. I'm glad you had brought the meetings up. We had meetings Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and uh, it was to, again, it's an open enrollment type thing, but really to get into the high deductible structure, there was a lot of questions and, you know, uncertainty of how is this going to work, and then we had the fifth, third people here. Uh, th they went good. People had a lot of questions. Um, I know at least one person was not wanting to do an electronic base, and they said, well, you can order checks and just pay with checks instead of your card and making transfers. So you can get checks if you want. Um, th there was other questions about the plan and, and how, how things work together. Uh, some people are double covered, and an HSA is not compatible with other coverage all the time. So some people figured out I got to make a choice here, or this is okay. Um, I, I would say the meetings went well. A lot of good questions. Uh, <coughs> dispelled some myths and, and maybe created some the other issues. The third guys told me that our employees told them that they were really pleased with the amount that the board was kicking in, and that they understand that they didn't have to do that, and they're very pleased with that. Um, just curious, are we going to, on the 18th, have all everybody entered in the system and the amount of deduct uh, personal deductions or are we going to be able to meet that deadline do you think 
Yeah, I don't know why we couldn't. Okay. Just, just I mean, the bulk of the people are firing. They're pretty. They're pretty good about getting their stuff in. I'm looking at no pressure. I got a stack for you. You're gonna have his. Oh, good. See, I got another awesome. yeah. stack. We they're they're pretty good. There's only a straggler or two, and, and typically somebody's been out of the office, and it's not not a problem. Stragglers, we can deal with. It's just that yeah, no, no, it's been pretty good. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. 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 Thank you know, explaining what how the HSA is and and the online access, it, it worked pretty good, I'd say. Took some of the fear out. Um, yeah, I think I think once people got a better glimpse of it and got to ask some more questions, it took some of the fear out. You guys think your people, for the most part, are in pretty good shape with it? Up in the <coughs> Except the yeah, just ironing out the bugs. You know, so there were, were a couple surprises. I'm actually, I benefited a little. So there's some give and take both ways on some of the stuff. One of my sons covered a little bit longer than I thought, and we're still in school still. So, I, I, there are still people going, okay, I'm going to see how this works. You know, I know that's still out there. Um, so the only time will sure. tell or help them. Yeah. Well, the, from the okay board perspective, it. I'll be the first guinea pig, so I can give my feedback. <laughs> As far as the HSA itself goes, um, I've already logged on Fifth Third and done all that. I've, I logged on to my UHC. The only call I had so far was just a structural call out to United Healthcare. I have two prescriptions that are mail order, and you can't navigate to find out where you try to transition that from your previous plan to that current plan. I did. I was on there this morning for 45 minutes and couldn't find it. And I'm as I think everybody knows I'm pretty tech savvy, so yeah. I was like, this shouldn't be this hard to say. I'm going from Medco or whatever, it, Express Scripts is what we had with Anthem, over to that. So that's just something you might want to touch base with her ran about. If there's a, because it's a, it's a basically our portal, right, into their system. It would be nice to have that, particularly in the very beginning of this transition. Because people are going to, assuming I'm not the only one that's on a prescription medication. So. Brief outline of <clears throat> yeah, just just a just a quick do A, B, C, and D. Right. All right. I'll get you an answer. I, I think it's a paperwork driven it thing is. and not it a is. website driven thing. Well, and, and it's good. It, it it would have to be a combination of the two because there it links you to their mail order, but it doesn't give you an opportunity to say I currently have a prescription. Whereas with Express Scripts, you could actually go there and say, this is my script number from CVS. Make it, can you make it mail order? Right. And then they, and they yeah. do that. So, it was easy. Got yeah, it. pretty easy. That's just a just an initial call out about the structure of the, you know, the plan itself, not not the HSA portion. I just wanted to get everything done. I was like, all right, I'm, I'm going through this. I got my cards. Everything's good. And I'm like, wait a minute. So, okay. Anybody else have anything? Okay. This time I'd like to enter in, enter, I'd like to have a motion to recess our regular meeting and go to executive session to resolution 4786. So moved. Second. Mr. Mearstall? Yay. Yeah. Mr. Gabbard? Yay. Yeah. Mr. Wayne? Yay. Yeah.